Hello and grüß Gott. Today we're going to install this thing called an accelerator module on my 2012 BMW F650 GS. This is made by a company called Sol2, S-O-L-2, and it's in Belgium. I think it's just a resistor that sort of tricks the engine into thinking, or the ECU into thinking that the intake air is a cooler temperature than what the actual temperature is. The reason for this is because this bike um, from the day I got it hasn't run very well at all. Actually it's been totally full of problems to the point where I've written BMW I think no less than seven times in New Jersey and I don't think they've responded once yet. I don't think they even care. Uh, anyway, um, what you'll need is a set of Torx um, drivers. Uh, you'll need a the hand torque wrench um, set to two newton meters. That's for these panels on the body. And we're going to take the seat off, we're going to take this panel off here, and then we're going to um, install this piece underneath here. So the problem is on this bike, and I've had it since the beginning, is that when you're driving it, after it, you're about six minutes into your journey, the ECU suddenly updates with the outside temperature and it starts kicking and bucking and stalling and spitting and honking and falling over and dying and you have to get out and push it and everything else. So, so bad I won't even take it um, out on the open road. I just drive it to and from work. Um, it's more pronounced in the winter time. In the cold weather, it's really, really bad. Right now it's over 100 degrees outside, so it actually runs okay in the hot weather. So it's a cold winter problem, but I'm, I'm still having the problem even now, even in the hot weather. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this piece. I'll show you how to do it, and then I'll keep you updated and let you know what happens. So I'm going to take off the seat, I'm going to take off this panel, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the part goes, this plug goes right in here, and you have to push it like this to release it. So you're going to push it, release it, pull it up, and then the new one goes on just like this. Plugs in there, and then this one, it's coated so you can't mess up goes in like this and we're going to uh, carefully place all these items down in here carefully like this oh fits perfectly what a great design I hope it works really well because it's a beautiful design so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to don't forget to unplug this when you pull the panel off I'm going to put the panel back on and I'm going to torque everything down to two newton meters. There's two bolts up front here on the steering head and four bolts here and I'll get torqued down to two newton meters. So I'll be right back. Okay, panel's back on. This is reconnected. Two newton meters, tightening torque here, here, and on the two, seat's back on. I'm ready to start it. You have to turn this thing on and something I learned is you have to wait till everything clears on here, which takes, well, six or seven seconds. So it's not clear. There we go. Now I can start it and see if it works. Let's check it out. Okay, so it starts. I'll drive it to work this week. And if it makes it to and from work and doesn't explode, fall over, or die, then I will update on the website and let you know how it worked out. And um, you can order it from salto.be for Belgium. About 65 US with shipping. So thanks a lot for watching. Servus.